the MMA show, I'm the muscle mole. Master Wang. Mr. Greg Andrew. Uh, officially known as B for the CP. Uh, obviously, we've been away for a while. That's because the UFC couldn't decide if they were cancelling shows, changing cards, etc. We cancelled a few of our own shows. Exactly, yeah. You heard about it, maybe Dana tweeted about it. <laughs> uh, we're here for UFC 153. Okay, first, the main fight in that card, B for the CP, is Anderson Silva versus Stephen the Bonzo Bonar. Okay, yeah. Anderson Silva versus Anderson Silva versus Stephen Bonner. Master Wang, tell me how it came about and what's going to happen. Well, it came about because uh, obviously things went a bit wry. Uh, Anderson Silva, he stepped up to the plate. He's moving up. We've got a classic Anderson Silva destroyed Forrest Griffin. Stephen Bonner is no one without Forrest Griffin. Forrest Griffin is no one without Stephen Bonner. Does Stephen Bonner have what it takes to last or just outdo what Forrest Griffin did against Anderson Silva? I'd say yes. I think first of all he's been campaigning for a big fight for a long time. He's talked about retirement. He wanted Rampage Jackson. I think he's got his massive fight. Not sure if it's the right fight for him just purely because he's going to end up on his feet all the time. He is going to get finished relatively quickly but I think A will take it like a man and B will start crying and run out of the cage. So he will do better than Forrest Griffin. However, he is going to get annihilated. Well, Forrest Griffin quite uh, recently put forward that he took Xanax, or whatever Xanax is, and he had some sort of sleeping drug or sort of relaxer the night before, and that's why he put his uh, poor performance, and that's why he ran out the cage, etc. Stephen Bonner says he's going to take a late man. Actually, I think the cycle's going to win. He's going to elbow, as you say, he's rough, he's rugged, He's much more, he's much more durable, durable, I think, than Forrest Griffin. I think that's something that has to be said for him. He's got a great ground game. Most of his early fights were all finished with submission. I think he's a BGJ black belt. He's durable, but he's slow. Who are you gonna go with? I would love to. I would love to see Stephen Bonner, but it has to be Anderson Silva. Most people are gonna bet on Anderson Silva. Hence, why Master Wang is gonna tell you it's gonna be the cycle all the way. You can take him to the bank. Okay. Something else you can take to the bank. We want from our sponsor. Check them out, Deep Blue and Deep Blue, Fightwear and Supplements, our new sponsors, quality. You know it makes sense. Today a deal of the day and a deal of the week, check that out. B for the CP, what's the next fight in the card? Fight number two is Big Nog, the Nogster versus Dave, the Hermit Herman. Well, don't you just love these unique UFC names? I bet they didn't even know their own names, no, they, man. They're going to change their nicknames after hearing this. Big Nog. Personal favourite of you for the CP, <laughs> Dog <Dom> News. <laughs> and I think we'll get Dave Pee Wee Herman next yeah. up. Pee Wee Herman, fresh off of getting his ass handed to him for Big Country Nelson. Yeah. Getting squared up against Big Nog, who's had about three fights in the last four years. Obviously, <laughs> get his arm ripped off, but he's been struggling with a lot of injuries. How do you see it playing out, Master Wang? I think, uh, obviously, Herman's of the new breed. He's a bit, he's a bit cocky. You know, he, he, he is very athletic for a. Uh, for a heavyweight. He's a big lad as well. Plays that crazy game with the trampoline basketball. He's super fit. Um, and Nog is, you know, taking it back to the old school. He's pride. He's UFC. He's top of the food chain. I want Nog to win just because he's a durable guy who's got a complete set. But I think Herman just bring will bring too much new school. Um, and uh, we're lost. The big country he really does have something to prove. He'll have a bee in his bonnet. Um, but the crowd will be completely on oh, Nog's side. For me, this is going to tell us whether Nog's done or not. I think Herman is a big guy, is an athlete, but I don't think he's a he's a top level fighter. I don't think he'll be in the UFC for that long. But I think it'll be a great test for Nog as to whether he's done or not. So as you say, I hope Big Nog wins. But I've got a funny feeling he's going to get killed. There we go. If you think different, get it in the comments. Join us on Facebook. Next sponsor. That's Bad Boy. Uh, we'll be getting some t-shirts and stuff after him back pronto, but check him out. You know who Bad Boy is. We're talking Shogun Hua. We're talking uh, Alexander Gustafsson. We're talking Ross Pearson. Check out their gear. Follow them on Facebook, Twitter, all the details there. What's next? B for the C. Fight number three, gentlemen, is... Glover, the Gloucester Texiari, and Fabio, the fabulous Maldonado. 
Well, does it get these names? I don't know, honestly. My mind, the mind boggles. Wikipedia has been hacked. <laughs> Glover takes it here, this guy nobody wants to fight. Shogun knocked back a fight. I think Rampage probably faked him. Even the muscle fight. all knocked back the fight. I was offered the fight, but I was busy. Once he found out he was training with Chuck Liddell, yeah. while Chuck Liddell was at the top of the food chain, you've got to ask yourself. I backed off. So who tu- is this guy? So it turns out there's actually two fighters in that shitty camp in the back. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the guy's not young, he's not just bust onto the scene, he's had problems with his visa, he'd sneaked into the country at some point, he discovered. <laughs> he's, he's there legitimately now, and he, I think he's going to be a force in the division, however, I don't think he's going to be a champion, but I think he probably has been set up to destroy this paired guy, Maldonado, ex-pro boxer, going to stand with him. I, I think, uh, unfortunately, I think he's another UFC hyper, they've hyped him to the, to the, to the hilt. To, to the hilt. He's, uh, all these people have said no, um, this is MMA, you know I mean, anybody can win, anything can happen. Yes, you were the Chuck, the, Chuck Liddell's uh, main training partner during Chuck Liddell's fantastic reign. Yes, you're uh, feared and you've got a great name outside the UFC, but this is the UFC, this is the big train, this is the big deal and I think he's going to get stopped and I think he's just going to be another guy who gets pumped on the heat rust and there's written three fights. The problem is there's so many guys in the UFC now with something to protect, whether it's GSP, whether it's Rampage, whether it's Shogun. This, these are all big money guys now. They're not going to risk it against a relatively unknown for the whoever's paying for this pay-per-view. So for that reason, I think it's not necessarily they fear them, but there's nothing to gain to beat them. So that's why people duck these relatively unknown guys who maybe are good fighters. Know that they're necessarily scared to fight them. And I think as well that Glover's tech series of this world they're coming in, they've got all this uh, hype, etc. They maybe are exciting, but now they're in the UFC, they maybe going to stop being exciting because they want to They've got something to protect yeah. as well, it's the scary. They've got a, a meal ticket. Anyway, B for the CP says we've rambled on too long. I hope you liked the show. If you didn't, let us So, go. who's going to win that one then, James? Oh, it's uh, Maldonado for, for myself. I'm going to say Tex here, but I think he's not going to be as such a force in the division as everybody thinks. Check us out on facebook.com for us, MMA show. At MMA underscore show. Subscribe. Twitter, subscribe on Do YouTube. All that Check stuff. out the website. Check out our sponsor. Remember, comment, feedback. We love like it. The feedback. Yeah. Peace out.